We weren't expecting anything on that magnitude at no. all, nothing. And for the first time, we are hearing from the parents of a Nashville police officer and a former Cal U student who put her own life on the line to save families just minutes before the Christmas Day bombing. Her name is Officer Brenna Hosey, and she was the second officer on the scene that morning. Channel 11's Ryan Houston walks us through what she and her family went through on that terrifying day. Are you guys okay? Where's your car? Okay, go to your car. That's body cam video of Nashville police officer Brenna Hosey minutes after an RV exploded in downtown Nashville on Christmas Day. Well, that's my baby. For parents of a police officer, it's a nightmare come true. It does. Yeah, yes. it's, yeah. I, I want to say that's always under the surface as, as mom and dad. Um, you know, you, you know that statistically it, it shouldn't happen but it's it's hit too close to home already for her. Christopher and Donna Hosey are the parents of Brenna Hosey. She was one of six officers who cleared the area before the bomb went off. The Hoseys tell me Brenna started her journey of becoming a police officer by attending Cal U in Washington County. Now, when you heard that it happened in Nashville, did you automatically think of Brenna. We knew that in some way, shape or form, she, she was in proximity to it. We just didn't didn't know how close and, and it was one of those things, Ryan, as the day unfolded and we started getting additional information, it became more um, tr troubling. She says they received a text from Brenna's boyfriend about the explosion, but it would be hours before they actually heard her voice. What is the first thing you said to her when you did talk to her? I just I just asked if she was OK. Um, she she had she had a um, concussion, a little bit of a whiplash. Um, they were all exhausted, um, but just just being able to hear her and talk to her was the, the best Christmas gift we had, I think. Yeah. So yes. the Hoseys also say their daughter Brenna has trouble sleeping and keeps dreaming about the explosion. But after several days, she was starting to feel like herself again. The family says even though her line of work is dangerous and often thankless, they were so proud to know that their daughter helped to save lives on Christmas Day. All mm -hmm. six of them ha handled it admirably, and you know you you can't say enough good things. You just feel for them as as, as people having having to do that. I mean, it, it, they truly ran mm -hmm. toward what other people would run from. Ryan Houston, Channel 11.